Good morning, family. This is your beloved brother, Minister Melvin. You know, family, I'd like to thank all of you for coming in today. If you don't mind, please hit that like button. You know, family, the more and more I wake up every day, I praise our creator each and every day. Not just because it's something to do, but because I'm supposed to. We're going to be going ahead and get deep on, off, and to it. Oh, yes, we else. Yes, we else. You know, family, the more and more I look at the treatment of black people and how ignorant a lot of black people are, I find that we are such an ignorant, non-caring people. It's all by design. But I look at how already we got to go through a struggle just by being black. And then we so blinded to the fact that we believe everybody is equal. It's beyond me. Because I look at how white people, nothing against white people, as long as you ain't got nothing against me and my people. So, so, and you know who I'm talking about. You know who you is. You know, you KKKs. You know, white supremacists. Y'all know who you are. So, I look at how much love white people get whenever white cops or any cop, even if it's an alien, that's right. You heard what I said. You know, first off, we give all honor and all praises to Father God in heaven. I am your beloved brother and minister. I am both me and my Father God in heaven. We are not your dogs. So I see the way white people go have white cops, and all cops, even aliens, cops, they all go. And I'm not talking about illegal aliens. All the mohos is legal. Yeah, they is. Because it's legal for them to come work for your ass whenever you want them to. And the Anunnaki is still mining for gold. That just went over your head. All right, he did. All right, he did. So, I see how much love white people get. From from the from white cops when white cops show up, they don't even pull their guns. They don't even pull their guns, and yet I seen where they shot and killed one of our sisters, whom they claim was stealing beer or alcohol. You know, first off, the sister was scared for her life. And whether or not she stole the alcohol or not, I've seen, I've seen them polices. I didn't see it. Damn it, because, damn it, I don't know how I'll be able to contain myself. Damn it. With that dying right there with her. I don't know. You dig? Because they just gunned her down when she got ready to pull off. I've seen white boys pull eight AR-15s assault rifles on cops and they don't even shoot back. I'm like, damn. So the so you have to overstand, overstand bullshit when you see bullshit. Because what they do is they wake up every day for uh uh these race soldiers, they wake up every day and they exploit an opportunity as soon as they can to get one of our black asses out of here. Every chance they get. And they do it all in the name of white supremacy. 
the one that got up there on that cross, that white boy with that long hair, the one that come from Rome. Speaking of Rome, did y'all know all roads, dirty roads, lead to Rome? And all that shit came down wrong. And I, I, I began to look and I see how I see how the good cops are turned real bad, real quick, real fast when they get around the crooked ones. I don't know why that is. They have built-in solidarity. See, they know their history, but they don't want you to know yours. Not your true history. They don't want to go back to none of that shit. Man, let me tell y'all something. And so, it, it just, when you think of how they created a lot of these how they took everything away from us, even skull and bones. Y'all know the Illuminati, so on and so on. We, was, uh, we were affiliated with the skull and bone. We invented it. Did y'all see that? So, so, but we had it for good, just like voodoo and hoodoo. And so, so they take everything that we have and have had and they contain it and own it. They all band together once they get on top. See, if you take a little bitty ant and you take your fist, matter of fact, it's going to take about a hundred ants. You know, your big old fat ass, right? And set your big old fat white ass up on all them black ants. Don't kill all of them. Just put your weight on them. All of them ain't gonna be able to go nowhere. They gonna do what you want them to do. They gonna, they gonna, you, you suppressing them. But pretty soon, the ants gonna turn red. Damn it! You gonna think they red? They gonna figure out a way to come eat your ass. So this is why they keep on smashing and squishing and squishing us. They know who we are. They take everything that we invent or everything that we have and they take it over and they make it evil. They turn all of our good into their evil and they make it fair seeming. Just like their Bible teaches them. I said they Bible. Did y'all know they have a Bible called Wicca? Yeah, did y'all know that's a religion? Devil worshiping, they do it all the time. Do y'all know if y'all really take a look at that cross? What it really look, what it's really saying? Man, they've been crossing black folk people out ever since. And see, once you can beat them, uh, it's like beating a little sick puppy or beating a little dog, beating the fuck out of it, excuse my language, every day. And turn around, make that little puppy, you can make that puppy do whatever you want him to do. Once you take over a people, whoop their ass, rape them in front of their men, women, and children, you know, you know, they used to call it buck jumping. They used to rape the black man. You know, they used to feed the little black babies, our uh, black babies, to the crocodiles, use them as crocodile bait. They used to do all this in the name of Jesus. And see, once you can control a people, and you beat a puppy every day, he's now part of your religion. It's now part of your religion. The ass accepting religion. Can I get up? No. But can I eat? No. But can I piss? No. But this is the mentality of the white supremacists. Damn it. And we get so scared when a, a few of them show up. One or two of them show up. That ain't the time to get scared. That's the time to use your damn brain. Because they always looking for a reason to kill you 
so they evil and as they can continue with the tyranny to maintain this level of fear. If you keep somebody scared all the time, because it's part of what your, your training, don't think they don't know who their loose cannons are. They know exactly who they are. Talking about a few bad apples. All the motherfuckers bad when they get around each other because they're going to all stick together no matter what. You got, if it wasn't for technology, you know what? You know what? Beloved brothers and sisters, my mama always told me, people do what you let them do. And that's so true. Because as long as you're going to let a motherfucker a Oreo cookie and a cheese nibble make you worship him through fear, with stress, that's control. That's not love on no damn cross and they crossing your ass out every day. Well, y'all ain't making it no better. Killing each other every day. Shooting up these damn playgrounds, killing these women and children. And then, if you got a problem with a rapper, why don't you, I don't, if that rapper doing time somewhere, okay, he's stupid, he keeping it street, he keeping it hood. Why don't your dumb ass keep it good? Don't mess with his mom, mama. His mama ain't got nothing to do with y'all beef. Did he mess with y'all mama? Did he mess with your mama? That's a bitch move, and you a bitch. And you can't ask me or tell me or ask me shit. Other than how long I think it's gonna take for your ass to get to hell. I don't know. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Because it, 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 cause we already know how it smell. Just like shit. My mom always told me nothing from nothing, leave nothing. And if you slipping in shit, you must be shit. Justice for young dog. And take off. Assalamu alaikum. So stay true.